guys, hey, it's Dane Adzim's Guitars. Here's what's on the bench today. This is a Jackson. And um, according to the sticker on the back of the neck right here, it's made in Japan. So uh, this guitar needs a new set of strings, a little setup work. We gotta get it ready to resell. So here we go, let's get started. Okay, let's plug it in. The output jack seems nice and tight. But we got a lot of scratchiness in this pot. So I can spray those out. So before we get any further, Let's take the back plate off and let's uh, spray that out and get that potentiometer to be nice and quiet. Here we go. Okay, let's see now. I got this electronic spray cleaner and it is almost out. Time to get a new can. Let's place some in here. Okay, let's see what happens now. Nice. Sometimes you just got to get the dust out of that. Okay. So let me just get my string winder. And we're going to take the strings off this one. Well, these old strings, they only had like one wind. They didn't have a lot of string on the tuners. I can see that this high E string is a lot cleaner than the other strings on here so somebody changed that high E string at one time. But these made in Japan Jacksons they're a little harder to find. So this one's kind of special. Get these things out of here. I do not recycle my strings. I just throw them away. Okay, and so sometimes now you take your low E string and sometimes you jam them down in here to loosen them up so that you can pull them out. So I had a pretty fun weekend. Drove to Los Angeles and that wasn't the fun part of it. But we actually got to play at the Canyon Club in Agora Hills, California. And we got to open for the Bullet Boys, which was a really cool hair metal kind of band. It had one great uh, hit song back in the late 80s. So yeah, we got to jam. We got to open up for the Bullet Boys. Good times. Those guys were all super nice to us. For being in the opening band, they, uh, you know, they all came in the green room and said, thank you guys so much for being a part of it. And uh, really cool guys. this back plate back on and then uh, you know recently there's a lot of um, guitar news 
um, where uh, there's a lot of people selling off all their inventory, they're downsizing, a lot of people are doing it. Um, so we have a lot of inventory at this store. We're right there with everybody else where we've got a lot of inventory. Okay, so I see the bridge right here. I think I'm gonna let me clean this up a little bit. Just gonna do the Windex thing on it. If a used guitar is nice and shiny, it definitely helps you sell them. So for all you guys trying to sell stuff, bring it in nice and clean and it, it does make a good difference. Makes a big difference. Come okay, lay that back on there. And uh, we're going to do the old uh, tighten up these down here. So you always want to make sure that everything is tightened up. These things always are loose. Every used guitar, these are loose. I just used my 10 millimeter, millimeter open to end wrench. Shine that up a little bit. Tighten those up a little bit. And then... Uh, F1 oil on the fingerboard thanks to the viewers they send me this every once in a while so thank you guys so much for watching and a lot of you guys even send me boxes of all the old parts and all that stuff that you guys don't want anymore you don't need anymore and that that is so awesome when I go out to my mailbox and I see a little box of old guitar parts out there because if you can restore restring fix your guitar up and um, you know you get a lot of parts and you don't have to go out and buy stuff you know other than the strings you know makes for a good day And, uh, so yeah, I get a lot of free parts from you guys. I think that is so cool. Thank you guys so much. It's a great way to support the store and support the channel. And just to keep an old guy in a little guitar shop alive and kicking. It's a great way to help support. Look at that. So this guitar has had some playing time on it. But if we get in here and really look at these frets, they seem like they're in really good condition. Especially when you get up here where your open chords are, your cowboy chords. I don't feel any wear on those. So this one, this one is in great condition. Okay, a little extra cleanup stuff that I do. So I take my fretboard guard, and I got a little thousand grit sandpaper that I have folded over. And I just hit these frets a little tiny bit, and it really shines them up nicely. not trying to level or crown them or anything I'm just getting the getting the smudge off of them
Okay, so that does make a big difference to shine these babies out. Okay, and then let's take a little tiny bit of this Gibson guitar polish. I'm going to give it a little spray right there and a little spray right there. The bottle says, do not spray directly onto the guitar. But you know, the average guy doesn't really honestly pay that close of attention to the directions. Okay, shine this baby up. This has the EMG HZ pickups in it. So these are the passive pickups. Um, I'm not a big fan of the EMG pickups. I know a lot of dudes that play metal. They will not play a song unless they are, uh, their guitar has EMGs going on. But I don't know. My opinion is uh, EMGs are a pickup that is wound with less wire and then you just need to have a 9 volt battery to bump it up where it's where you know passive pickups are already at it's kind of my thing okay so I got this black paint marker and I'm just gonna carefully hit these saddles to bring them sort of back and, and look nice and clean and not show the wear okay that's simple just a little bit of paint it'll rub right up it'll gotta let it dry don't know how long it'll last but uh it really made that look nice so it is time my friends to put strings on it string all right, today's string choice. Dunlop. Performance is everything. Electric nickel, 9 through 46. So sort of a hybrid set where usually your 9s are like a 9 through 42. So this has a little bigger bottom. 9 through 46 Dunlop. These guys are super famous for all their guitar picks. Great strings, Dunlop. Been around forever. Put them out of here and see what we got. All right, so these are gold. White and, well, the, I guess the gold would be brass, right? White, black, and, and silver. Is there silver ones? No. So let's see what we got here. I'll start with the low ones. Hey, Bri. Sun Bride just came in. Alright, so our low 46 is silver. And white. I'm going to say it's black. Okay, here's what we do. Got my little micrometer right here. And I'm going to say that the white one is the 46. Yes, it is. And this one is a 30. 38 or something. All right, here we go. Let's string this baby up.
So if you hold your strings like this, the heavier string is more firm, and the lighter strings will fall. See what I'm doing there? So this is our heavier string. This is our G string right here. And our G string looks to be a 16 or 17, somewhere in there. Make sure they're all down in their saddles properly. There we go. All right, so got the strings on it. I got it tuned up uh, E flat, half step down. Feels good. I didn't do anything to the truss rod. Feels really good. Let me just eyeball down the neck. See what I can see. Uh, it's pretty straight. There's a little bit of relief in it. Sometimes I'm guilty of really slamming the action on guitars. And then what happens, they hang on the wall for a month or two and then they all start fretting out. But there is definitely a little bit of room. If you wanted to really slam the action on it. All right, there it ha All right. There you guys have it. It's a Jackson. This guitar is for sale. And it's got fresh Dunlop strings on it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Everybody have a great day. Hit the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Uh, check out all the links in the description below. Uh, buy a t-shirt. Uh, share um, you know your Amazon experience with our Amazon link do all that YouTube stuff you guys know the drill and thanks again for watching have a great day